Hey, I was recording and it magically shut off apparently. Or maybe the phone overheated out here in the sun. But I uh, remain at the Baraka Home Cemetery. I didn't get to finish filming in the last uh, video. Um, we're out at a home for unwed mothers and soiled doves and out here in uh, Arlington, Texas. Pear, no, I'm sorry, Pearl Simmons, missionary for Baraka, buried in India. So her real grave is out in India, but they put this stone up for her here. And on top, they've left her some coins, and it looks like a maybe a cookie that's melted. Hmm. And uh, October 21st, 1915. Memory of Susie Singletary and Baraka buried buried in India. So Susie Singletary was on this side, and on this side they Pearl Simmons. Okay, so they um, they had missionaries that went to other countries from this. Uh, it was a school and a church and a working printing plant and they made, you know, it was a farm. Uh, they did all kinds of chores for these girls to do and they could live here as long as they needed to. And uh, they were taken care of. And uh, as long as they went to school and, uh, I'm sorry, well, they may not have gone to school. As long as they did their chores, as long as they uh, went to mass on Sundays and uh, what was the other requirement oh they had to watch over their baby for one year after it had been born so the where it just says infant number 20 that's a baby again that probably was still born um, that what is that name Reba um, it looks like this is an example of someone stealing one of the headstones, the grave, the stones, whatever. So it looks like most of them are here. What is this here? It could be an animal digging. I, I don't think there are any other uh, graves over here. I could be wrong. Nice to be out getting some sun. Um, I wish they would mow the grass a little more often out here. Infant number 15. Margie. Lena. Bryce. There's a little, little ball on her grave. Wilmer. Infant number 16. There's Laura May, James. James has got a little army man with a bazooka. Right, did I just show you this one? I might have. He's in my mind. Martha, infant number 17. There's Elsie. I don't think we saw these ones. Edward. Eugene. Yeah, there's one that's missing. When I was out here 10 years ago, that's where the one was. And I remember seeing it up against that tree, and I guess they didn't put it back. Um, Bobby. Infant 19. And there's another missing one. There's nothing more horrible, more heinous than stealing headstones from graves, man. I don't know, maybe Dr. Fauci might qualify for being more horrible.
but he's the sexiest man alive. It says so in People magazine. He's a wonderful man. Thomas, infant number. Maybe history will will uh, tell the real story, or maybe it won't. Josephine. Reuben, but we don't want to get political here because we don't ever get political on this channel. Here's Homer. I think we looked at these. Albert. Marguerite, yeah. I think we may have seen them all now. Um, there's nothing sinister about this. It was just, you know, a place that was here for many years from, what, the 1870s through the 30s. And and just a natural part of life is you know people passing away and childbirth or their sickness and this is where they were buried they did everything right here on the on the grounds of the campus but it's a beautiful place and there was a windmill at some point uh, uh, not a windmill uh, what do you call a water mill yeah it's in this little creek here we ought to go out and look at that creek Um, but, yeah, I was last here about 10 years ago. I tried to bring my wife here, but there was no place to park about five, six years ago. And, um, back then they had, uh, he had, uh, there were parking meters. And, uh, and, uh, my wife was with her friend. They didn't want to walk back here. And, uh. Now it looks like they've closed off those spaces. You can't park there at all. So again, as I leave, hopefully I'll be back again when, before 10 years pass. In honor of JT Upchurch, founder and supporter of the Baraka home, May 14th, 1903. So thank you, JT Upchurch, for all you did for humanity back then, 100 years ago. And uh, so we'll say goodbye to the former home of the Baraka home and current still home of the Baraka Cemetery. And let's uh, again say a little prayer for these children and, and adults that passed away. That um, Some lived full lives and were doing great things in other countries and some never got to live lives we've got to be more upbeat it, it's so easy for me to get angry with everything that's going on politically and all the stupidity going on in the world but I just things aren't going to change unless we become more uh, um with positivity and, and love, I think, because uh, hate feeds on itself. It's the path to the dark side. I read it in the Star Wars comical book. It was a funny book. Can't can't believe the people that read these Star Wars comic books. I've got the full run of Doctor Aphra. Who the fuck is Doctor Aphra? Oh, well, they were they were in they were in uh, the last Star Wars movie for eight seconds, thirty minutes in, and they got a twelve issue run. What? Okay, and there is the creek. Let's go up here. I've never been back here. See, back here. This is what it might have been felt like to be one of those young girls that lived in this home. In this beautiful creek that went through here. Look at this. Beautiful. For some reason though, it's real hard to access this park. I've never heard of a park that has no parking spaces that, you know, so unless you live within walking distance, how do you really access it? Don't worry, I'm looking for snakes. I know you're thinking that. Or maybe you're hoping. <laughs> you're gonna grow too.
face back there. Leatherface and Farmer Vincent making his fritters. Ooh, this is really cool. And it must the, the creek must have spread off that way. Look at this. I think that's what the roots of my teeth are starting to look like, where it's exposed <laughs> as my gums recede. That's what I'm visualizing, at least. But if I, I think the dentist said if I drink more Dr. Pepper, it will make my, uh, it will heal my teeth, and the gums will grow back. That was his advice. I keep saying that it's not a soda or a root beer that's wrong it's not a cola or a root beer that was the slogan sorry about that for the purist i might lose a subscriber because i said soda instead of cola you never can tell pretty 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 Look at that. Oh, that is way cool. Except for the trash these idiots drop down there. Where's Woodsy Owl when you need him? That's cool. Well, maybe this is... Maybe I can upstage Gray Man with his walkie videos. Because even though he's got the beautiful greenery of England, this isn't bad. Makes you forget that we live in 2021 and everybody's got masks on everywhere. Okay. Can I get through this way? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think so. I'm going to go back around. see over there where those modern looking UTA buildings are is where the, the buildings would have been for this Baraka home um, like I said I think the fun, it was turned into an orphanage afterwards and then it was uh, probably de demolished in the 50s early 60s and now it is the sprawling UTA on the other side of this building is a big uh, Texas Hall. I guess it's still there. That was the big auditorium for the school, and that's where Led Zeppelin and Kiss performed in the 70s, and, and actually graduated high school and college walking across the same stage where Kiss and Led Zeppelin once performed. How about that? Okay. Sounds like that pterodactyl at the beginning of Johnny Quest, doesn't it? But I don't have a laser gun to zap it. Or Land of the Lost, the you know, sound effects in the background, Land of the Lost. Maybe we should walk home a different way. That would be more interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that.
been wanting to film that cemetery for a while to uh, you know, in case we move, I'll have a little memory of it. What does this sign say? Doug Russell Park, it's rules and regulations. I wonder who Doug Russell was. I wonder who this park is named after. They should have named it after JT Upchurch, who had that home. Wouldn't that have made sense? But no, they named it after Doug Russell. Who knows who that guy was? I'll research him. I shouldn't make fun of him. He may have done something incredible. Hmm. But I would have named a different park after him and uh, named this one the JT Upchurch Park. What is this? This must have been a water fountain at one time. Let's see what this thing, or is it a trash can? What is this object? Donated by Arlington Service League, 1978. Yeah, this would have been a water fountain. That would have been where it, the thing came up and the water would go down here and then there's a step for you to step up and drink water. But I'm sure that's way too unsanitary with, you know, COVID or whatever the hell. Or maybe the lines just got rusty. Who knows? Ooh, there's graffiti down here. What does that say? It says, The child survives. Somebody went down there to spray paint that idiotic comment. Well, we cross back into modern day 2021. The horrible world of 2021.
Okay. This is a good exercise. Brother Mike had a car wreck right right here once. Our, the, the 1969 Ford Fairlane station wagon family car that we had, you know, since it was bought new. Um, I guess he inherited the thing and was driving to ETA probably about, I don't know, 79 or 80. He got... Uh, I guess he hit a car coming out of that apartment complex or something, something like that is all I remember. I think the, I think it was fixed. I can't remember. complexes are inhabited by people that go to the university back behind us for the most part. <laughs> 